Hey everybody, Stacy Wells here, Stacy Wells Artistry. Um, I'm fixing to do uh, open cup war. Um, we well, already had this done, but I uh, got uh, interrupted and um, so I'm just now getting to it. I'm, uh, I'm upset. We have a, um, had a husky here that came up to us that was starving and had ear infection and worms and had been beaten and abused. And we took it in and took it to the vet and spent $200 on it, took care of it, has made it our dog, and... Somebody just pulled up outside and got the police and came and said it's their dog. And the police took him. Even though they can't prove that it's their dog. And I'm just a little upset because I don't like giving an animal back to somebody who's abusing it. And they wouldn't listen to me and um they took him and I feel like he'll be back down here because that's what he's done in the past he's not neutered and we had an appointment to get him neutered because he's going to get run over on the highway running back and forth and doing what unneutered dogs do spay and neuter your pets it's bad but I'm really upset that this person was able to just pull up out here and take our dog away. And uh, I couldn't do anything about it. So, I'm feeling kind of down. I thought maybe if I came in here and painted something, I'd feel a little bit better. So thank y'all for being with me. I appreciate that. Sorry, I'm not in a better mood. Um, it's just irritating, you know. I don't, know, I don't know if you've ever had that happen to you before, but when you take in an animal that somebody else obviously was not taken care of, and then to have them just show up months later and say, oh, that's mine, you know, and the cops just come and take their word for it, I'm just not happy. I don't think it's right. Anyway. There's not much I can do about it. Cop said, well, I'll take that vet bill and ask him if he wants to pay that. I was like, yeah, sure, right. Like he's going to do that. Of course he didn't. And the cop says, well, we can sue him in small claims court for that. I ought to do it. Um, but at that particular moment, all I cared about was the fact that he was taking my dog. My nine-year-old loves that dog. We all do. And, um, I don't know how to explain to him that the dog is gone. It's a very frustrating position as a parent to be in. Anyway, maybe this will turn out pretty and make me feel better. Um, let's see. Come out of green. Yeah, pretty much. Alrighty. Well, I, on a better note, I finally got that three foot by six foot piece. It's a swipe. Well, it was a swipe, and then I redid it as a um, oh shoot, I gotta get my torch. I'll be right back.
Sorry about that. I left my torch outside when the police came out. I've taken it outside with me and I forgot. I apologize. And this one, I have a butterfly that I'm going to put with it. I'll show y'all. Just a minute. That's really pretty. with it much more than that. Let me get the little butterfly. I want to show you that. Uh-oh, uh they want my paper towels off the roll. Okay. Yeah, it's these, I think maybe that top one. It's got the green and yellow and the uh, magenta in it. Let's torch this again and see what that does. Some pretty little pink cells forming on the left side over there. I like those. Little green ones, too. Alright, y'all. Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty with that little emblem I have. Let me get you down what you see. A closer look. I also want to show you these are two that um, I did uh, yesterday that are now uh, or day before that are dry. That that one I think and uh, this one right here are both dry. And I'll show you this one up close. It's awfully bright and pretty. Alright. See those pretty pink ones on the side? Those are cute. All right, y'all. Well, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for joining me. Please check out my other videos. I have some on paint pouring, resin art, and some stained glass tutorials that I'm working on. I appreciate y'all being here today. Sorry I'm in such a downer mood right now, but um, I just, I'm worried about that dog. <laughs> I'm an animal lover, and I just, um, I just, I'm just upset. But thank y'all for joining me. That makes me feel better that um, that y'all are uh, checking out my stuff. And maybe you like what you see. I hope you do. Please like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. I'd appreciate it. I'm new here. And it makes me feel welcome. Thank you very much. Y'all have a good rest of your night.